I'm coming to ask you how to guide the mind, mm -hmm. how to use him wisely. Mm -hmm. Yes? Yes. You don't need to worry about this. Let me explain. Give me a few moments to talk about that. Because uh, mind is not reliable in that way. You, you know, I, you started by saying, you know, that, um, you know, it has been widely, especially in spiritual uh, places, you know, that like mind is the bad guy or something. No, all this is mind. All is mind. I would call mind is like the names and form department of consciousness. You know, this is how we we have the sense of uh, enjoying and the sense of differences and and this the instrument for comparing, interpreting, measuring variety and so on. All of these functions are there, I, and these things don't cause you any trouble particularly. They are practical function, pragmatic functioning of mind like this. It is more the psychological aspect of the mind, where we, consciousness, are identified hmm, with the notion of self, the idea of what that has been fed to us, of who we are, hmm, that we inherit from life, from family, from society, from our culture. The, the, the limited belief that we are primarily our body, and the kind of programming that has come to the body, or the conditioning, like that, that's, that's what we are. And that's where we move from. And that is a very limited thing. Of course, uh, that function is there too. And then we are here trying to point you to a space greater than that, beyond that, behind that, so that you become aware of this. Because becoming, not being aware of, their, of your source being, your life is a very disabled life, actually. It's malfunctioning, very easy, because you are not grounded because the mind is not stable, you see? And even if you hold one thing looks stable, then also the next moment, your moods are not stable, and you will perceive it differently. So you're in a field of, of fluctuation. It's a very unstable realm. Only when somehow the mind is rooted in the heart's energy, in, in, in the self, then it functions as a harmony. That's why sometimes you hear, I will say, you know, keep your mind in your heart, this type of thing. But by itself, it, it is not consistent enough to then speak as though this is a realm of facts. It is not. It is a realm of fiction until you find the fact of yourself. Who is the weakness of the mind? It is you who see the mind. It's not the mind see you. Like I said, the use the example of the hand. I say, I am looking at my hand. My hand is not looking at me. And uh, it's the same way. You are the observer of mind. And you determine its power also. You have the power to determine its function and its abilities. Because it draws its life and its power from your identity and belief in it. That's a very powerful relationship, that you must understand that relationship, otherwise you will feel like a victim to it. This is all that I speak about like that. And um, now we speak about this that you brought up. You know? How to, you know, make best use of the mind. Best use is first you must understand clearly. Not just understand intellectually, but experientially. You must come back to yourself in a very authentic uh, way. And then, automatically, the mind will align itself in the energy of the Self. If you try to control the mind, you who are trying to control the mind must be coming with some, from some personal force. Because you are trying to control the mind, because you think I better control him before he control me. <laughs> you see, so that is a very shaky premise to be trying to control the mind, which is a very, the, it's a very very powerful uh, medium that has to be put in control by pure understanding and wisdom and the establishment in the self that you that you are coming from your true place. Then the mind is a servant. Otherwise, he's going to want to be a master, and he's not a good master. You see? So first, you be rooted in the truth, which is not difficult, actually. That's what I'm pointing to. 
because we could talk about many things, but the most effective is to point you in a place that you can see from your true place. Once you are seeing from the true place, everything in your world, internally and externally, begins to align itself, hmm? because you're back in your, in, your, in your power, in your true power, beautiful power. And this power is not a power that wants to reign over anybody, it doesn't want to control, it doesn't need to control. The God Self does not want to control anything. It says, be and things become. It is not a ruler. The ruler is a kind of tyrant. He's already afraid. He wants to control and manipulate. The, the real Self does not need to control. It's not intimidated by anything. The devil is not a match for God. He's only a match for you. <laughs> when you're in your identity, then haha, yeah, you can manipulate. Yeah, look, you're no good. No, they don't like you. Look, what look on there. And oh, 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 oh. you see, it's only to the person that that voice can can seem real and deceiving, but not to your higher self. In your higher self, you don't even notice these things. It's not nothing to worry about. So that is the way the answer to your question is uh, you be established in the Self in such a clear way, not merely by understanding, yes, I know I am not all these things, and I just, you know, I know I am the Self. No, this knowing I am the Self is being the Self. This knowledge and being, they are synonymous, they are the same thing, one. And all of this meeting is only to be established in that. That is the direct way. Uh, to self-discovery and self-recovery. We are like the recovering consciousness, because we have extended out into a field of multiplicity and duality, and living primarily as though we are just our body and conditioning, and feeling buffeted by life, or uh, suffering, and want to come back to the Source, and this, this type of thing. So I'm showing you your source, because it is right here. It is the most stable, the most reliable, the most truthful, even to say it is reliable. For whom is it reliable, even? You see, even this word, great as it sounds, is not true, actually. For whom is it reliable? Reliable is only a useful word up to a point. Reliable while you are not yet one with it. Then you say, amongst things to be trusted, this is the best. Because uh, who is even to trust the Self? There is only the Self, you see. But though I say it, it is not so easily assimilated, and digested, or understood yet. Because you are growing back into yourself. You are slowly waking up to the fullness of Truth. As that happens more fully, you see that uh, there, there are no problems. How can there be problem? Even though you may see something and look, but that is definitely like this, and you find out, no, it is only how my mind was presenting. It is not like this. Many people are trying to control the mind. And like someone was pointing out, the mind also is kind of clever. Also, he's 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 a possum. You see, <laughs> it's like you slap him and he drops like dead. <laughs> <laughs> you think, oh, I killed him. Look, I killed him. And then <laughs> it's that head. Sometimes just like this, something play, then up again. Why is not dead? Because you, the ego, is not dead. <laughs>